Oh math god everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be learning a lot but before we continue with the video as it's very useful for the channel to grow if you hit that like button you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so without further ado guys let's begin oh my god Welcome back guys, today's video is about how to interpret a proportional relationship graph. Let's begin. One of the most important questions one might ask oneself is if a graph shows a proportional relationship or not. Feel free to check out yesterday's video in order to learn how to recognize if a graph is proportional or not. But what about finding values inside and outside that same graph? How can we do it? Well, that question is going to be answered today. First of all, we have to remember that if a graph shows a, re a proportional relationship, we can express that relationship in this way. So the dependent variable is going to be equal to the constant of proportionality, and that is going to be multiplied by x which is the independent variable. Let's see at the following problem. The graph shows the number of boxes and machine packages over time. Is the relationship proportional? How many boxes are packed in four minutes? And then we have two additional questions in red. What is the value of boxes for 20 minutes? And what is the time for 100 boxes? Well, the first question is, if the graph has or shows a proportional relationship? Well, as we can see, it is a straight line. And it also passes through the origin, 0, 0, meaning that it is a graph that shows a proportional relationship. Now, it also says how many boxes are packed in four minutes. In order to know that, we have to recall the formula, y is equal to k times x, where k is going to be our constant of proportionality. Now, how can we find the constant of proportionality? You have to remember that the constant of proportionality is going to be equal to y divided by x. Now, in the graph, you have a ton of values of y and a ton of values of x, so you can just take one. So take a random number of the graph, like for example this one, and you're going to try to see what is the value for x. So in this case, the value for y is 100, and the value for x, as I was telling you, is going to be 4. So that means that we have a value of y equal to 100 for a value of x of 4. That means that when we divide 100, which is the value of y we selected, divided by 4, that is going to give us a constant of proportionality of 25. Again, you can choose any point you want. Let's try another one. Let's try this other point, for example, and let's recall that in order to get the value of k, that's going to be equal to y divided by x. So the value of y is always going to be the vertical axis. This axis right here is always going to be y. So in this case, for this point we selected, that's going to be 150. And we have to divide it by the point in x. So the point in x is going to be 6. So that means we're going to divide 150 divided by 6. And that is going to also give us the previous answer of 25. So again, you can take any point you want from the graph. Just make sure that you find the values properly. Now, now that we know that the constant of proportionality is 25, we can actually write the expression of the formula. y is equal to k times x, but in this case, we know that k has a value of 25. Now, how many boxes are packed in four minutes? We have to remember that boxes is going to be our value for y 
and minutes is going to be our value for x. Now that we know that, we can find our value for the boxes. So remember, boxes is going to be y, and it's going to be equal to 25 times the value of x. And in this case, the value of x is 4 minutes. So when we multiply 25 times 4, that is going to be 100 boxes. Another thing that we can do is that we can find the amount of boxes by looking at 4 minutes in the graph. So we go up and we find our point and then we move to the left to find the value. So that means we can either use the graph or you can also use the formula in order to find the amount of boxes packed in 4 minutes. But what if we are asked for a value of 20 minutes that is not inside the graph, it is outside the graph? Well, you can use the formula. Y is going to be K times X. So the value for the amount of boxes is going to be equal to 25, which is our constant of proportionality, times 20. And that means that we can actually take that value and we can find it, meaning 25 times 20 is going to be 500. So that is the amount of boxes or the value we have for 20 minutes. What about the time for 100 boxes? Well, in this, in this case, x is going to be equal to y divided by k. So again, y is going to be 100, and we're going to divide that by our constant of proportionality, which is 25, and that is going to give us 4 minutes. Again, another thing you can do is actually find this value of 100 boxes in your graph. So you go to boxes, you see 100, you find the point, and then you go down. And you see that the value is 4. You can use both ways to find the same solution to the problem. And that's it, guys. So again, just remember that if you have your graph, you can actually use it to look for the values you're looking for. Remember, y is always going to be your independent variable or the vertical line. And then the horizontal axis is going to be x. So guys, see you on the next one. Bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!